Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rolando and in today's video I'm going to show you how to install macOS Big Sur in your MacBook so you can actually have the latest software from Apple. Remember this is a developer's beta program. Like the title says, this is not free. You have to pay a subscription to be able to get it now. If you wanted to wait for the public beta, Apple said in the WWDC that it should be coming out anytime at the end of July, beginning of August for everybody of the general public that want to test this beta. But right now, if you want it now, you have to pay a subscription. This subscription is through the developers Apple program. It's a annual fee, it's a hundred dollars. So many, you're gonna see many YouTubers like myself that we already have this because we are into that developer program so we can get the earliest and the newest software coming to every single device. So if you're interested in installing Big Sur or any of the new softwares like iOS 14 or iPad OS, even the new software betas for the watch series and the TV, Apple TV, uh, you have to be signed up into the developers program to get the newest software. And before we continue, make sure that you do a backup of your PC. And if you don't know how to do a backup of your PC, I got a video on my channel and I'm going to leave that link in the description so you can go check that out and do a backup of your PC. So in case you don't like the beta, you can come back to your old system. And now let's get started. First thing we do is just, we go into developers, apple.com. That's the developers, Apple website. And we're going to go into accounts and we're going to sign in. If you haven't signed up yet, you can do it. It's free. But remember, if you want to go have the latest, you have to get the newest, you have to pay for the membership. And as you see, my page for my account is going to be a little bit different from if you sign for the free account, because mine has a little bit more information. Like if I actually want to make a application for iOS or Mac. So now we hit the download tabs. And as you can see, we got the beta software downloads. And as we'll scroll to the page, we can see we got the Mac OS Big Sur beta. That's the one that we are going to install. We also see the iOS 14 beta that is for iPhone and is only available for certain Apple devices. As I know so far, it's going to work to even iPhone 6. We also got the iPad OS 14 beta, also the Watch OS 7 beta, the TV OS 14 beta for your T Apple TV. And if we keep scrolling down, we're going to see many other betas available, but those ones are actually the free ones that you gotta don't have to have a membership. So we're going to hit the install profile. We're going to download and save it to our desktop. Once this gets downloaded to our desktop, let's close the page. We're going to open the macOS developer beta access utility DMG. Once we open that, we're going to see macOS developer beta access utility package. We're going to click on it and we're going to hit continue, continue, agree, install. Now it's asking for a password. I'm going to use my fingerprint. And as you can see, it says that my Mac OS is already up to date, but in a second it's going to change and it's going to tell me to upgrade for the Mac OS beta. As you can see, it's going to go up to 10.16 It's around 9.56 gigabyte. And that is going to start the upgrade to, um, it's going to start to download the upgrade to your computer. So we can actually update to Mac OS Big Sur. I'm going to hit upgrade now and I'm going to come back and show you once it's going to start the installation process. Now we got the screen with the Mac OS beta installation. So after this, we're going to start installing Big Sur. So we're going to go and hit continue. Once we hit continue, we're going to agree again to the terms. It's going to ask to agree again. We're going to install it to our hard drive. So we hit install. It's going to ask us again for a password or I'm going to use my fingerprint. And now it says that it's going to take around three minutes, but it actually takes way longer because after this 
the starting process, the computer is going to reboot. And once it reboots, it's going to keep going to the installation. So it's going to take around somewhere between 45 minutes um, to even an hour, depending on uh, your computer. So I'm going to come back again once we are completed through the whole installation and we are already in Mac OS Big Sur. Now, once your computer reboot is going to go through the whole setting up process. So I'm just going to skip forward and do the whole process in my computer. And I'm going to show you how Big Sur looks after all this. Now we are ready in Big Sur. Uh, as you can see in the screen shows the feedback assistant app. This is an application that is installed once you install the beta. This is for you to write feedbacks into the developers program writing down um, and, and telling developers of bugs and problems with the software and how they can be able to fix it. So this is always install when you install a beta um, software. So I'm just going to close this. And as you can see, the desktop is a little bit different. You got now black icons on the top and instead of white icons and the and the top bar now is just a clear bar with black icons. If you see the icons have changed and I'm going to be talking later on as I use the software, I'm going to show the widgets and all that that comes with this big sewer. Now, as you can see, also the icons are rounded in the corners. If we open the finder, as you can see, the finder changed also. So now it has round corners and I'm using the black team for the moment and just to show that I'm in Big Sur if you go about this Mac you see Mac OS Big Sur this is version 11 beta and this is gonna be updating any now and then every couple days every three days this is just gonna keep updating as the software develops and it gets better and they're gonna be doing changes until it comes for the public beta that anybody can download and then it's almost the last version that comes out before it's actually made it to everybody as a regular update. So this is everything for this video. If you like this video, just hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to be starting a new series. It's going to be called Tech on a Budget. So make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can check those videos out when it com they come out. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.